For many years, our automotive customers have used the V-Box, which is a GPS-based logging device that allows them to take measurements from the car for acceleration, braking, coast down, durability, and also for verification of ADAS sensors, such as cameras, LiDAR sensors, and radar sensors. Quite recently, they've wanted to do some more repeatable testing indoors, and this is so they can control the conditions much more accurately. So they want to fill the room full of mist, fog, they want to have bright sunlight, darkness. So what they need to do is they need to measure exactly the same parameters, but indoors. So they've asked us to develop a V-Box that can be used in exactly the same way, but indoors. So for the last four years, we've been working on this system. And it's based on UWB, which is ultra-wideband radio. And the benefits of ultra-wideband radio are that it is a very short radio pulse and very, very low power. So inside a building, you don't get as many reflections from the metal parts and the walls of the building. So you can get a lot more accuracy than you would if you used a traditional radio or radar system indoors. We also use an inertial measurement unit in conjunction with the ultra-wideband radio. And this fills in the gaps and smooths all of the measurements and makes the velocity extremely accurate. So the idea is a customer can go testing on his normal test track with a V-Box and he can be running RTK two centimeter GPS outside, measuring the distance between two cars or the time to collision with an AEB test. But they can also then drive indoors and carry on doing exactly the kind of tests that they did outside, but with exactly the same accuracy of two centimeters. In fact, the more we've used our system, the more we realize that it is actually slightly better than GPS because the acquisition time is only 0.2 of a second. So if you drive from outside to inside, you get a lovely seamless transition of the velocity and the position as the vehicle enters the building that has the VIPS system fitted. When you drive outside, it takes two or three seconds for the GPS to come in. So the VIPS system is actually running a lot quicker and a lot more accurately under those kind of conditions than GPS does.